It is a pretty but cold day. Yes, I know. It's kind of like a February day, right? Mm -hmm. It's cold outside. No surprise there. Let's check in with our weather watchers. What are they saying across the area? Yesterday, we were talking about snow. Obviously, that is not the case for today. Yes, it is cold. That's our big weather story. Let's check down into Rochester. You can see temperature-wise, a lot of these are in the single digits. We have Becky out in Rochester. She says it is 10 degrees out there, and we're looking at... Uh, cold air that will continue as we go basically through tonight and tomorrow. And what we're going to check with our weather headlines would be a little bit of a change up after that. So if you're more of a fan of warmer weather for the weekend, well, we do have that in the forecast. Weather headlines showing those uh, basically cold air sticking around, like I said, through tomorrow. Then we have a quiet, quite a weekend warm up. We stay dry until next week. So if that's your type of weather, well, we have that for you. When it comes to your radar picture, radar picture clear. Don't have to worry about the radar. Radar's on a vacation for at least quite a few days. Satellite-wise, we don't really have too much cloud cover in place unless you look a little bit further out, closer to the Rochester region. Zooming out, we do have this weather system. If you plan on hitting the road heading south, do want to give you a heads up a few inches of snow still possible with the winter weather advisories across the Iowa area, but it's not a deal for us. Why? Well, look at this. High pressure in place actually going to continue to slide on in a little bit further off to the south. And because we have the rotation of winds around this high pressure, this is going to bring that flow out of the south and the southwest. So this is going to help with that warm up as those warmer temperatures start to move on for the move in for the weekend. And we actually are going to see, I think, some thawing. So if you saw some issues last time we had this last weekend, be prepared for that coming up here this weekend. Current temperature, we're at 11 here in the Twin Cities. Looking out a little bit further into western Wisconsin, just about in the single digits to 12 as we look out to Rice Lake. Alexandria, you get one. Looking off to the northwest, negative three. That's your actual temperature in Fargo with winds out of the northwest predominantly about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And put the two together, you drop below zero when it comes to your feels like temperature the wind chill at negative one negative 15 fargo negative 17 as we look out to alexandria these locations off to the northwest we did have that wind chill advisory in place not the case now at least with high temperatures just back up to 11 when it comes to the twin cities so it'll remain cold and dropping down below zero as we head into tonight six below when it comes to the Twin Cities for tomorrow, we're back to the teens. High temp of 17, slightly warmer, but our average high is closer to 30. So we are still staying a little bit cooler. Here's that seven day forecast. You have to get through tomorrow and then we go into Friday and the sun's gonna be around. So it's gonna be a lot like today actually for the next couple of days until Friday, things really change up. That's when that flow kicks in. We're back to 37 on Friday, Saturday, we're at 38, 39 as we go on into Sunday. It's going to be rather warm, closer to 40. So wow. Of, yeah, I know, right? And then a weekend little bit of a warm up. up. Yep. <laughs> what again. a swing that is. <laughs> Back and forth. The, it's been the February story, mm -hmm. really. Thank you, Lisa.